Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So let's begin with your energy. The first energy that I'm looking at is giving me the impression of some of you being in the midst of a situation that is deeply emotional, okay? It feels as if, you know, you're going through this experience where you are having these emotions, but you're trying to remain as calm as possible. You're trying to not allow these emotions to control you. And it feels as if, you know, for some of you, you could have this amazing ability to have this power of discipline over yourself. So it is going to vary, but I do feel like you're trying to be balanced. You're trying to be calm. You're trying not to allow your love life or the circumstances of it to affect you in a way in which it's controlling you. Okay. Now, there's certain elements here that I'm picking up from your energy, which is highlighting things that are concerning the individual you're dealing with. For some of you, you may have had some difficult experiences with this individual. It feels as if there's elements of resistance, there's elements of toxic behavior that are coming to the forefront during this time. It feels as if you don't want to focus on that. You don't want to focus on those energies. You don't want to pay attention to it. What I'm sensing from your energy right now is that there's a great need for peace and serenity. And I can feel very heavily from your energy that you are doing whatever you can to surround yourself by individuals that have very peaceful frequencies and vibrations. It's incredibly important for you during this time, okay? I feel like anyone that comes into your world during this period and causes drama is uh, not going to get a very good response from you. But I feel like you're not going to engage in that behavior as well. I feel like, you know, your inner peace and who you are as an individual is incredibly important to you right now, okay? So a very heavy energy in terms of serenity and peace of mind, that's what I'm picking up. Now, the energy connecting the two of you, very interesting. I feel like on one hand, we have an indication of your energy. And on the other hand, we have an indication of the person's energy that you're dealing with. Now, your person is coming forward as someone that is also trying to, you know, balance themselves out. But it feels like this energy of where this process, this experience hasn't really been easy for them. It has taken them to some very dark places inside of their soul. There are elements here of which, you know, core characteristics of theirs have been triggered, such as the desire for control, such as mind games, such as, you know, behavior that is pointing in the direction of wanting to have this form of power in a situation, right? It feels as if this individual has this one narrative that they stand by and you know people are always a mixture of different components everybody has a good side a bad side etc it just depends on what you choose to feed during this particular time it feels as if because the power has slipped from their hands there's uh, you know these darker energies that are being illuminated and it doesn't you know have to mean that they are coming out and attacking you or, you know they are being cruel it could just mean that they're looking at the glass half empty and um, they could be, uh, you know, playing the game of the victim during this time. So just be aware of that. Now, on the other hand, we have this other energy. It's a very um, relaxed energy. It's an energy of having uh, power over a situation. It's a gentle power. And what I see with the combination of these cards is that, you know, there's such a big contrast between the two. On one hand, we have the energy of uh, one individual wanting to engage in irrational behavior. On the other hand, we have the energy of someone wanting to engage in rational behavior. And if the two of you are very closely interrelated with each other, you know, I feel like during this time, you're trying to shift your focus from the uh, more difficult energies and onto the more positive energies. So I feel like you don't want to be pulled 
in uh, you know one direction in favor of the other etc i feel like you're trying to be as neutral and as positive as possible right now now the energy of the individual you're dealing with very unique energy because what i see is that this individual is very very reluctant okay there's this energy of where they're faced with an incredible amount of discomfort right there's certain things that this individual has realized that has to change but it feels as if there's a fear of change there's certain things that are challenging this individual to grow as a person but it feels as if there's a fear of expansion okay i feel like this individual is the type that likes to do things in a certain manner and it feels as if, you know, for some time in their life, there might have been a period where they were calling the shots, they were in charge, and all was well, right? I feel like their sense of identity has been shaken up. And so, you know, they're experiencing a lot of drawbacks as a result of this. It feels as if this individual is on some sort of journey, and they're trying to understand who they are and who you are. But I feel like in the period of isolation, what they're coming to um see is this idea of um, loneliness that comes from deep inside of their own soul so i do feel like they are experiencing this and i feel like you know there's this energy of where there's a hesitation to truly accept that you know you're no longer facing them, you're facing another path, you are looking in a different direction. And they, you know, stop being the main focus of attention in your life, because I feel like there's a shift occurring inside of your energy. And I feel like, you know, you're at a point in which you're trying to decide what is the right path for you, you know, which direction do you want to take your life. And I feel like you're asking yourself, these questions in silence and I feel like you are definitely thinking very deeply but from a very soulful type of place right so this is a very spiritual energy that's coming across there is this inability to accept things for what they are and how it has turned out from the individual that you're dealing with let's begin the clarification process for those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be exploring the balance of these energies in greater detail. There's something I'm getting from Spirit right now, which is talking about conversation, right? It feels as if the mental dialogue of this individual is definitely coming into play. As I tap into their energies, I pick up this energy of them having a difficulty in accepting how things have turned out. But they're also um, saying certain things. They could be saying certain things to themselves. They could be saying certain things to uh, a group of individuals, right? So I'm um, picking up this energy of whispers, right? And this is when spirit comes in and... They provide these messages. So I definitely do get the sense that uh, there's this background chatter that's happening. Right? Okay. still represent the light and happiness of their life I get the impression that this individual feels as if they're going backwards right so that's a very unusual energy. It feels like a time warp. It feels like an energy of where this individual is having a difficult uh, time in accepting things for what they are and there's a movement going backwards. So the reason why this could be happening is because there's certain realizations that they're having. As I mentioned before, there's whispers. 
and this could be rooted in the lessons they didn't learn. This person is going through some sort of change. It feels like they used to approach things in a certain way. There's uh, a few assumptions that this person may have had of you. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you are wary of this individual's energy. It's like... You know how they can be, you know who they are as a person, and I feel like you don't want to deal with that side of this individual, and many of you are struggling to make up your mind about what you're going to do about the future of this connection, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual as well as their soul energy. I'm going to be looking at what are these whispers that this individual is hearing or communicating to people. I'm also going to be looking at why is the energy moving backwards? What does that mean in relation to this individual's energy? Because it feels as if there's something going on there and there could be certain triggers. There could be certain things that may happen as a result of this energy that is occurring on an internal level for this individual. I'm also going to be exploring these changes and shifts that are occurring inside of them. How is it going to affect your connection with this individual? Is it going to be a good thing, a bad thing, etc.? And where is it going to lead? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.